Welcome back guys. I have another goodbye video and if you watch my videos, I'm doing nothing but goodbye videos because I am thinning my collection. So before I add any more statues to my collection, I've been selling off a lot of my pieces so I can start uh, collecting again. So space is always an issue. This is the next one to go and this one is one of my grails and I would say this is probably one of my favorites in regards to paint, sculpt, design, everything about this statue is badass. This is uh, Loki. I call it a Loki off throne. As you can see, he's not really on the throne. And uh, so uh, I call it the off throne. And this is kind of a Norse, -y, Norse mythology feeling statue, but it is a Marvel statue. This is based on uh, Thor. I think it was uh, Thor, Blood, and something. I actually have the comic set to it. There's actually a mini uh, cartoon series on this. And it's actually a pretty cool story. So I have a video on that. If you go back to my channel uh, on the unboxing of this, I actually explained it. It's been a while, um, so but it is a really cool story. But this one is a cool uh, statue because it's just... Uh, so one thing that's cool about this is it has a very realistic lifelike uh, feeling there. So you can see the smock and everything is all weathered and it's like, it's less marvelly and more realistic. It is a badass Loki. The second thing I like about it is you can display this guy just like this with just him without the throne. So uh, you can see it splits right there and you can actually take that whole throne back piece off and display them just like that. And all these monoliths here, you do not need to display it with those. Although I think that gives it a little extra touch. But yeah, you don't really need to do that. So it's very displayable. It takes a lot of space to very little space, just however you want to configure it. And you can see that Loki has like a, uh, a cloak, a smock on. You could actually take that off and just put his uh, shoulder pads on there. And then um, you can have, there's a switch out for him with this one that, that doesn't have the, 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 the fling, um, what would you call that thing coming out of his hat? Whatever it's called. So it could be more displayed just by itself. Really cool. So all the paint and everything is awesome. Very detailed on every surface. Very rocky, ancient type detail. And you check out that throne. I mean, this thing is huge. Pictures really does 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 not do this justice. This is an awesome, awesome statue. And you can see the stone. It's very, if you look at it, it almost, it's a very realistic, like limestone feeling. And even feeling it, it feels feels like limestone. That they did an awesome job, and this was a private commission, and they did a very good job. It's very good quality, and uh, I'm telling you, this this statue is badass. So you know, um, for this statue was very low edition. If I remember right, it was like 35. I don't really want to pick that up and turn it around, but it's a very low edition, and uh, it was a private commission took a while but i'm glad i waited and he did like i said this is probably i i would think this is the best loki out there now i had a uh, loke venomized loki and someone already bought it but then another one was another person was interested and i think he got a little upset that i sold it and i said hey you know uh you know i really can't back out on someone buying the statue but I do have this Loki, and it doesn't, doesn't seem like he was interested. I could tell you, this statue is so much better than that statue. I mean, just because it has so much story, detail, awesome paint. Everything about this is, is just badass. You get just so much more statue there. And I like, check out his face. See that face? And let's check out this face. So this one is a little more grotesque and people were saying, oh, if he's a shapeshifter, why is he so ugly? Why would he make himself that ugly? 
Well, you know, this represents what Loki is. He is ugly inside, and this depicts what Loki is. I mean, he is ugly on the inside, ugly on the outside. And uh, I think this depicts Loki perfectly. Awesome. So I'm really, really, this is really painful to get rid of this one. This is one of the ones I actually really did want to keep. But uh, I just got so many I got to I gotta sell off because I have so many statues coming in. So this, I just got to make sacrifices. And I can say, if you, you see this for sale, just get it. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Uh, I'm, fe I'm feeling this is going to, to sell pretty quickly. I've seen people sell this for around three, 2,500 around there. I've seen it. Some people even go really low. I've seen it down to like, I think fourteen, fifteen hundred. But that is, man, I think this one is worth a little more than that. I think a fair price on this is eighteen to twenty-two. I mean, you're getting just so much statue in comparison of ordering like an XM or a, or another statue of similar size but it would be way more than that so anyway that's it if you're interested in this just hit me up on facebook but i'm figuring once i uh post this it should sell pretty quickly unfortunately you know all the statues i've put up so far have sold so uh, uh next we're probably going to be putting um thanos on throne right there and maybe even doom Scarlet Witch, and that's my other grail that's going to be going up for sale, as well as that guy and that guy. And I think that Hulkbuster, I was thinking about doing a giveaway on that because I had that Hot Toys Hulkbuster, I know it's nothing special, but you know, I guess maybe it is to a lot of Hot Toys collectors, as well as this uh, Iron Man. And that gauntlet, this gauntlet, signed gauntlet, uh, and that Iron Man actually comes with that little pedestal, and eventually we'll get to that bust. But I think I'm going to keep Magneto. I want to keep him. I'm going to keep Jet Power Optimus and that Magneto back there, one of my favorites. And this is one of my first two statues there, so I think I want to keep these guys. I mean, these guys bring me a lot of joy. We did, and I got a, a print, and the actual original print from Garduno right there. So I think uh, we may keep those two because they hold a special place in my heart as well as that Galactus right there. So anyway, uh, join me on those, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get get rid of about f at least five before we get the new shipments coming in because we got a lot coming our way. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time and hope you enjoyed Loki. I sure did while I had him and I will miss him. We'll see you next time.